did you know that I went for dinner with Al Pacino? I really did. It was in Los Angeles. I went for dinner with Al Pacino and many, uh, we were like uh, four, four other people and it was uh, related for a movie. So my question is, if I was a man, would we be talking about it today? I'm dropping name and I hate to do it, um, just to bring a context to you that I could have never been starstruck with Alec Baldwin. And I'm not diminishing his talent or his work. I'm just saying that in my career, for 20 years, I met a ton of huge stars. I met my favorite actors, like Al Pacino is probably my favorite actor. So if I, ha if I was to have a out of context, non-professional reaction, I would have had it with Al Pacino. Or when I worked for almost a week with Steven Tyler on our Sony commercial that we shot in Montreal. Uh, you know, Aerosmith is such an amazing band. I love that music. I would have been, if I was to have an out of context reaction, it would have been with with those circumstances. I mean, never Al Pacino or Steven Tyler or Denzel Washington uh, or R.V. Weinstein, for, for that matter, gave me their addresses. Never they wrote, uh, you're most welcome to come visit me at any given time, you're welcome. They never said that. Uh, Alec Baldwin did. Uh, none of uh, R.V. Weinstein, Al Pacino, Denzel Washington, and all the people I'm going to continue to name, not to drop name, but just to bring a context that I could have never, I was a publicist, I was surrounded by stars. None of them gave me their addresses, their personal phone number, their cell phone number, and their home phone number. So how, if I receive all those information, how could I re uh, react out of style with that one actor, that I knew for 15 years. That I had his phone number for years and years prior and I never called him. So I'm gonna continue to bring context, but in the meantime, I'm gonna ask the help of the people I work with, the people that care for the Me Too movement. I'm gonna ask Denzel Washington, Al Pacino, I'm gonna challenge them, uh, Steven Tyler, Harvey Weinstein, I don't think Harvey's gonna answer, but I'm gonna challenge whoever I'm gonna name on my videos to write a comment down below or write a comment on Twitter and link it to my Twitter account and saying that yes, we met. It was professional meetings, it was professional environment and we, um, that my conduct was professional because if only one person, like an example, I challenge Al Pacino directly, leave a comment below, uh, Mr. Pacino, because if you say that we met, if you say that I never had any uh, out of out of out of character <laughs> reaction, uh, and and Al Pacino, it's it's it was surreal. I mean, he's he's like a big big star. He's a great. He's not just a great actor. He's an icon to me. See, and I don't. I never reacted uh, out of style. I was never starstruck. I never blew a gasket. <laughs> you know what I mean? And if I challenge Al Pacino and Denzel Washington to just, and Eddie Murphy and, and whoever I work with, like Steven Tyler, I mean, to leave a comment down below here saying that it's true that we met. I mean, I would have never lasted that business 20 years. I would have never lasted one year if I had a wrongful conduct, if I was a, a, a stalker, if I was a starstruck person. And I'm gonna continue to drop name here, not to embarrass people, but just because of the Me Too movement, people understand that I was, I was a model, I was also an actress, but I, my main job was working in production. I was uh, becoming a producer, but I was also a publicist, representing stars with the media. So it's kind of ironic what happened to me with the media. I mean, that's, that's kind of, oh my God, that's strange. But what I mean by that is I would have never been hired by studios. 
in, in Hollywood or never been hired by production company to represent them in Cannes Film Festival or, or, or on, on the map, like many, many uh, markets in Europe, in, in the United States to sell their, their, their film, their TV shows. If I had a, a wrongful conduct or non-professional conduct, or if I was like a fan, or if I was excited to meet stars, I mean, I, I couldn't be excited. They were my, my, my business partner. I work with them constantly. Uh, I will continue to show you names, but and during that time, I mean, imagine if Al Pacino, Denzel Washington, Steven Tyler, anybody like Eddie Murphy I work with, if they leave a comment here on my YouTube channel, I challenge all of you because you know the truth. You know I'm a, a Me Too victim. You know my conduct's never been uh, questionable. And... Um, I mean, if you leave a comment, then it would show the world that it's true that we met. It's true that I was, I was the person I claimed to be. And that will reopen an option for me to regain my life, to regain my, my, the respect, the respect in life. My, my, my life is very hard for something I didn't do. Um, every day it's a battle. And, uh, and, I, and I, deserve, I deserve the truth out. And so... I'm a, vi a Me Too victim, like, you know, I had his phone number, he was calling me every day, sometimes more than once a day, and never my conduct was wrong, never, never was, was it illegal, never my attempt, uh, my, my objective in, in talking with him or discussing with him would be to annoy him, harass him, bother him, causing fear. I mean, how could a little blonde girl that he knows for 15 years uh, cause him fear, you know, because she wants to go for a coffee with him because he calls me and writes me all the time. And I was in New York and that's all I did. I presented myself, I was waiting on the street and I got arrested on the street. I mean, I was invited to wait in the lobby, but because I had my dog, I decided to wait on the street. It was four o'clock in the afternoon, just by the law, um, arrest, arresting somebody in the street, somebody that is not breaking anything or, or being violent or having any conduct. I was not trying to break in the house, you know. I announced myself they lied. They said Alec Baldwin was coming downstairs. They invited me to wait in the lobby. And I said I'll wait outside because I had a new puppy. I didn't want him to, you know. <laughs> and, so, and so that's it. And so the police arrested me like in the middle of the street, like feet and feet away from the entrance door. And I was there peacefully waiting for somebody I know for 15 years. So I challenge Al Pacino, Denzel Washington, Eddie Murphy, Steven Tyler, and all the other people I'm going to continue to name that I met for dinner, for lunch, that I work with, just to say how was your experience with me in the professional uh, field? And was I ever, a, a, in any way, a starstruck or a, a fan or a stalker? That's all I'm asking you. So I don't know who's going who's gonna to do it first, but I put my hopes in, in Al Pacino. Seriously. So it's, it's bold. It's, uh, un, it's unusual. But, you know, if, if, if those people that I name here on my YouTube channel, if they, if they hear my message, it's, it's an SOS. So if you hear this message, uh, you know I suffer a lot for something I didn't do. Uh, just confirm that we met. Just confirm that my conduct when we met, it's either for business lunch, business dinner, or on a set. Just confirm how I was. Was I a stalker? Was I starstruck? Was I uh, abusive? Was I out of place? Just, just tell the truth and leave a comment below. Uh, that would change my life. Uh, and I never ask. You know what? It's funny because in my work, I never ask for favor. I never ask for anything. Um, I just do my work. And now I'm asking for, for a favor. I am. I am asking for a favor. So whoever hears my message that worked with me, 
just leave a comment below because I had no chance. I was not rich enough to get like a $500,000 uh, retainer's fee for a good lawyer. Uh, in this mediatic storm, I had no chance. So if you want to do something good, uh, if you want to have a good karma, I invite you, those stars, those people I met, those people I work with, leave a comment below. Leave a comment on your Twitter and link it to me. Just confirm that what I'm saying is true, that we all met and that I was professional and I was, I, I, I was having a professional conduct. And then if one or two of you, uh, with your, your fame, your big names, uh, just tell the truth about the way we met, it might counterbalance the opinion on this situation and allow me to go back to work, allow me to go back to safety in life, to feel secure, to have a home that is, that is safe, uh, to have a life that is safe, and perhaps go back to work. And so if, 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 if you feel that you heard about my story and you feel that something's wrong, just share your experience when you met me, when we went for lunch, went for dinner, went for a glass of wine with other people or on the set that we work together. Just share your experience and, and that would be all I'm asking because that will make, that will bring a context to my story. That will just demolish the fact that I could have never been starstruck or a stalker. So anyway, I wish I'm, I'm, I'm challenging those people I worked with. Uh, I believe in good faith. I believe in, 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 in honesty. So that's a lot to ask, I know. But, you know, if I don't ask, I'm never going to get it. So I'm asking you to do it. <laughs> and um, I just need one, just one of you. It could be Eric Trump, it could be Eddie Murphy, it could be Andy Vina, it could be Eddie Murphy, it could be Al Pacino, uh, Denzel Washington, anyone. Anyone that I met that is a huge star, like Angelina Jolie, um, Rosario Dawson, just, just, you know, if you work with me, if you're a big name, just write your comment. Just say to the world how my conduct was and who I am. And that's, that might change a lot of ways, like the perception. And perception seems to be everything these days. So um, I rely on your, tr on, on, on your action. I hope somebody will, will respond to my request and help me be free from a from the Me Too problems that I carry since six and a half years. And it's killing my mother and it's killing me. So it's gonna take you like two minutes to leave a comment, confirm that we met, confirm that I, that I was professional and, I mean, if, if you do it, if Al Pacino do, does it, would that mean a lot? It would. So hopefully, okay? So I don't know if that's going to work, but I'm trying the impossible. <laughs> I wish you a good evening, everybody. I love you all. Bye.